got dinner in the crock pot. I have the day, it's a free day for me, so I'm gonna get the daggone thing done. We got some cleaning to do. Also, I was about to ask y'all to say a prayer that frozen chicken in the crock pot didn't hurt us, but y'all are in the future and I'm in the past, so I'm gonna say a prayer for all of us right now. I looked on Google and it said I could put frozen chicken in the crock pot, but every time I do that, I get nervous because I can't remember if I can or not. Then I had to go on a whole Google escapade, find out that I can, but I still don't trust that I can. It's it's a whole thing, so I guess if this post, you guys will know that it was okay. <laughs> Let's do the daggone thing. I had a free pocket of time between the time that I put the food in the crock pot and the time dinner would be finished, so I decided to just work through whatever I could get done before the dinner was finished. I find myself doing that a lot with tasks. It gives me a finish line, so it doesn't look like the finish line is out of sight. You always know when you're gonna have to quit. If y'all are shocked that I'm using gain, this is a sniff test, by the way. <laughs> this is a, is it a level one smelly or a level five smelly? It was level one, so it just needed a little fabric softener spray. This is not gain. I have downy fabric softener spray diluted in here. If some of y'all were shocked that I was using downy, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. I had this empty bottle, so I just put some uh, laundry softener in there and diluted it with some water, a lot of water, actually. I'm getting everything tied up and all the shoes put back in the shoe cabinet and then I'm going to move on and do my rotating method and orbit around this entire room. If I sound like I've aged about 450 years too, it's because I just got over that nasty stomach bug and y'all know whenever I have issues like that where I'm up chucking and stuff, my voice gets super hoarse and it stays super hoarse for a while. So I'm going to continue to orbit around this room and get as much done as I possibly can by the time our barbecue chicken is done in the crock pot.
I'm wet dusting my island X's here because they get dusty so fast. This whole entire island area with the wood, it gets nasty. I don't know why it's behind the couch, but I guess stuff falls behind the couch. It gets gross. There are definitely a lot of imperfections in my house. And I talk about that openly because I want you guys to know that you, when you start out doing DIYs and home makeovers and renovating your home, you're not going to know it all. And you're going to have to learn as you go. It is literally a process. You are going to suck <laughs> when you first start unless you have experience. But by the time you get through a couple of projects, you have some experience under your belt. So these projects, when I first started really getting into projects because I've been doing projects for a while, but I was doing like surface level stuff, doing islands and stuff like that was totally out of our league. So there's a lot of imperfections in things like the island and stuff like that. The bigger things there's imperfections in. So there are some things that I want to do to them, but I don't want to change them up because I love the way that they look. So what I try to do in situations like that, I try to build on what I already have. That way, a big project like the island or something like that isn't as daunting as if I didn't have anything and it was a totally blank canvas. I have stuff here that I can build on. I've already come this far. We can just make it a little bit better. I'm talking about the island because I have something up my sleeve. Shane and I have been doing mega, mega massive drawing up plans. You know him. Like, he is so good with, like, drawing up the plans and putting my ideas on paper and making sure they're not out of this world because my brain is usually out of this world. I rarely come down here to earth. <laughs> so, he does a good job at, like, reeling me in and being like, Marina, I know that you want that, but this is what we can actually do. This is what's going to work. It's always an earth to Marina moment when he's showing me his drawings and what we can do. I still have the tags hidden in these. What in the world? Have those been there the whole time? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even take these out. Oh. I know I did not pay that for it. I said I paid $50 for these two things. I know that's a lot. I did not pay that for that. Mm -mm. There's no way I would have done that. For just a... They were probably 40% off, which makes them mm -hmm. a little over $20. What was I thinking? I could go out here, get a cardboard 12 pack Dr. Pepper box, wrap it in twine, and put some greenery from the dollar store in it and it would look just the same. Look at that. That's crazy. $50. It's stupid. <laughs> we don't oh, say stupid. We say that was a poor choice. How about stupid? Stupid. Yeah. Okay, we can say dupid. Wow, where'd you get that Hobby Lobby? Yeah. That would make more sense. Hobby Lobby is like a more expensive Dollar Tree. <laughs> My kid's forever roasting me, man. He's roasting you. He's roasting you. Just call me a daggone turkey. Turkey. <laughs> Something weird I've been noticing whenever I go back to edit these videos, I have a receding hairline. Like, I have a George Washington, Thomas Jefferson hairline, and I don't know why. I don't think women are supposed to get receding hairlines, are we? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. It's bothering me, though. Every time I look at it, I'm like, that hairline, it has receded back. Like, it is running away from me at this point. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. I'm, I'm contemplating getting some miracle Grow or something. <laughs> I'm hand-washing the floors just with my all-purpose method spray because I, there are some areas where I wanted to spot mop, and I feel like I can do better detail cleaning with a rag in my hands versus the mop so I'm just going through and washing down the floors with all-purpose spray and rag. couch to get to the other side so I don't have to put my socks in wet water. Yellow. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> broke it! Ow! Oh, I broke something! Golly! Ah! <laughs> That's actually a lot of fun. Dang it! I left my rag over there! <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close.
My couch needed cleaned desperately. It was desperate for a good cleaning. I've cleaned it surface level. You guys know I've tried different hacks, TikTok hacks and everything to like wash it down and everything. I'm going to actually just wash it with the carpet cleaner today because I have time to. I'm gonna clean out the inside of it first and then carpet clean the sucker. Something in my brain causes stress So come and make me feel different You wanna hold, don't hold back oh, Your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts You know I always want you back I got hot water, I got downy scent beads, downy fabric softener, and some antibacterial soap. We're going to soak this sucker down, but not just soak it down like we've been doing, doing the hacks with the TikToks and all that stuff. 
the water doesn't get pulled up. And a lot of you guys mentioned that in that video, and I didn't even think about that. But you're like, Marina, you're putting, you're depositing water on there, but you're not pulling the water out. That could cause you even more problems. And I think that it did because the areas that I was trying to clean, it would smell good for a little while after that, but then it would go back in and kind of smell sour. So we're going to deposit water and pick up the water using my carpet cleaner. I don't know why I didn't use this before. I don't know why I didn't use this the first time, but we're going to use it now. And I will say it turned out 50 billion times better than any of the hacks I've tried or any other way that I've washed this thing. It actually smells good and there's not a trace of dog or anything like that anymore. So definitely recommend it. Don't do the, skip the TikTok, <laughs> skip the TikTok hacks and just go for the carpet cleaner. I try these things so you don't have to. You could say I'm the guinea pig. So I'm telling you, the guinea pig is saying <laughs> that you just should skip the hacks. Skip the hacks and just do it with the carpet cleaner. It turns out so much better. Cleaning this couch did take up a large portion of the pocket of time that I had, the free time that I had for this day, but it was definitely worth it. It was one thing I wanted to get done no matter what. I prioritized it. I made sure I had that time to really work on it, and I did do two whole washdowns of this thing. So I scrubbed the heck out of it, and then I pulled up the water several times, went back in, scrubbed the heck out of it, and pulled the water up again, just to make sure and double check that it, it was clean. You can make anything smell good for a second, but being clean is what really matters. I didn't want the couch to just smell good. I wanted it actually clean. I wanted it to feel clean when we sat on it, and it hadn't been feeling that way lately. It had just smelled good for a while. So that was my priority. Smelling good was just an added bonus. While cleaning this, the water, you can see the water being sucked up here. This is the second round on the top of this cushion. The first round, the water was orange. Like it was, I, I don't even know what it was. <laughs> it was nasty though. You could tell that it hadn't been deep cleaned when you started sucking that water up. So that's what it was missing when I was trying all the other things. It really needed that water sucked up and removed because otherwise it's just like, it's a lake. I mean, it's a cow pasture lake, you know, you, you put stuff on there and it, it stays there until you get it out. Like, you, I don't know why I'm using this analogy. Like, you don't drop a cow patty in the in the pond and then not get it out. I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it felt like a cow pasture pond. You know how they go in there and chill? That's what it felt like. <laughs> so, now that it sucked up all that nastiness and I went again and did it and the water came out more clear like this, that shows me it actually got clean and it didn't just smell good y'all this next song she didn't have to go that hard <laughs> she did not have to go that hard i'm t i like her voice i was like oh this 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 is i'm putting this in there because this girl can sing before dinner is done. I'm trying to see how much I can get done before then. 
because I had a pocket in my day where I didn't have a lot to do. That's crazy because I always have a lot to do. <laughs> but I've been doing really good about the weekend resets and that's been helping me throughout the week. It's taken me pretty much that whole entire pocket, but I have thoroughly cleaned this living room. So gotta, I'm gonna hand wash the floors like I did uh, behind the couch. But I've been able, daggone it, fearfully created good job the whole entire living room that's not that's not bad it's not bad i can smell dinner though and it is smelling so good my dogs are down here they don't like the wet couch so they're <laughs> you guys don't like the wet couch huh you don't like the wet couch banks what what <laughs> By the time I get the floors washed, and I'm gonna wipe down these shelves too, because I'm trying to wet dust everything. But by the time I get the floors washed and wet dust the rest of the living room, Shane should be here and it'll be time to eat. I need to get on it, because I have about 30 minutes to do that. But that, that should be plenty enough time to hand wash the floors and wet dust, I think. I need to put a wax smell in the wax warmer too, because that candle over there has it smelling really good in here. That candle's awesome. I got that, I think, at Ollie's. I think I got Shane's mom one, and I got me one, too. And I'm pretty sure that we, me and Shane's mom were at Ollie's whenever I got those, I think. You would think Ollie's candles were just, uh, because, you know, Ollie's good stuff cheap. But it's actually smelled up the entire house. Like, it smells really good. So, I try to pair it with a wax melt that, like, complements it. I try to do that. I mix and match. Sometimes I tell y'all all the time. Well, I used to tell y'all all the time. I ain't said in hot minutes, so I'm going to say it now. Sometimes it smells like a fart covered Fruit Loop. But other times it works out and, it, and they complement each other. So I think I'm going to use one of you guys sent me, gosh, probably two years ago, a bunch of wax melts. I think they were made, they're, they're like homemade. And I've gone through two of them so far and I haven't used the pink sugar ones yet. So I'm going to use the pink sugar one. To pair with that one because while that is a florally smell it's a it's a sugared florally I, how do you how do you sugar don't smell does it it's a sweet florally it's not like funeral home florally it's sweet florally it don't smell like i need to sign the visitation list but it does smell like i frolicked through fresh flowers I wish I could explain things better for you guys. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I really want to get my house uh, tackled. Like not... Whose car is that? I know everybody's cars and that doesn't sound like anybody around here. Oh, is it their family members? I was about to say, I do not recognize that. I, I, so I knew somebody new was here though because oh my gosh, Binks and Tater. Banks is my most lovable dog, right? Like you guys are always saying his tail is always wagging. It does, his tail is always wagging, but it'll be wagging when he eats you up. He is a guard dog. He is absolutely through and through a guard dog. I can't take him like out to places like I want to. Like when we go to the flea market, I want to take him so bad. I can't because he will not let anybody near us. I would trust him with my life. He's lassie to me, he really is. But let somebody, yeah, I mean, even Nanny, like, I have to put him up because he does not like people coming near, especially his kids. So he was freaking out at the glass door trying to eat it off. <laughs> and I was like, what is that? And somebody new was walking around the, around my yard to get to the other side of the other trailer. Macy, are you just a good, are you just a, he, he's like a grandpa. He gives me grandpa vibes, but he gives me grandpa with a shotgun vibe. Thank you, baby. Oh, he was the best guard dog ever, Bing Sirs. Bing Sees. Bing Sees. Is that a baby? Okay, I'm getting my tab on the car to do a stop motion. Um, uh, um, um, be, um, Beast Wars. Ooh. Stop motion. Colin likes to film videos on his tablet, and he does stop motion videos. And it is the neatest thing on the planet. It is so cool. Yeah, these are they're from my favorite TV show, Beast Wars, and I've been collecting them. This is my favorite character, Optimus Primal, and this is Cheetor. Cheetor. And I have more over there, but I'm not going to show you because you need to get back to your video. I know you need Cheetor. Yeah, his name's Cheetor. He, he turns into a cheetah. Okay. He said, I got more over there, but I'm going to show you because I need to get you back to your video. <laughs> that pretty boy. <gasps> the kisses. That one, no, I 
I don't know how much good hand washing these floors is doing because I got dogs walking around me. I got kids walking around me going in and out outside on the porch, coming back in. So I don't know how good it's doing me, but at least it makes me feel better knowing that I'm at least washing them down because I don't do that very often. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. sandwiches barbecue chicken sandwiches like bomb i'm gonna get the kiddos the plates on the table thank y'all for hanging out with me i hope y'all have a blessed morning even not whatever it is wherever you're at and i love you but jesus loves you more i'll see y'all later